Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah. So, today we have another book haul. Okay. Okay. Right. At this point, I'm an addict. And we all know that buying books and reading books and collecting books are different hobbies. So... I think I've been beaten by the bug, but that was the same. So I have to say before I show you guys these books, these books are stockpiles. Okay, so I've been stockpiling them for a while. Like these vendors allow me to pay for it, but not receive it yet, so I can accumulate more books. Then when I'm ready to collect it, I'll just pay for the delivery once, and then they ship it to me. You know. So that's how I've been doing it. So I can't really exactly remember how long I've been stockpiling these. Even the other book hauls you've been seeing too, they have been stockpiled. I got from two vendors this time around. I already unboxed on Instagram and TikTok, so the video is probably up by now. So when I um when I opened the my packet my package packet like seriously, there was this magazine inside that they gave to me. It's a uh, this masturbate. But this is one of the printing uh, stuffs in Nigeria and there are quite a lot of Nigerian books here at the back and I've read some eight. I've read eight of them but it's actually really cool cool <laughs> it's actually really cool being able to tick it off I've not read the magazine but I was just excited when I saw the magazine I was like oh okay okay the first book here is this one clap when you land by Elizabeth Acevedo guys i read with the fire on eye and i loved it there was no spice in that book no spice but i loved it because i that one talked about a girl that cooks and stuff like that and she's a single mother at a very young age so just basically talk about her life so i wanted to read more from this author so i decided to buy this one there's i think there's a third one the poet i will actually get it too but i want to go through this one too and it looks like it's gonna be a quick read because the oh i don't even know what this is about to be honest i have no freaking idea is it like a poet because the the writings are quite do you see this do you see this looks like <laughs> is this song looks really beautiful look at the two black girls wahala <laughs> by I've seen this book everywhere I've been wanting it for the longest time I don't even know what it is about but I shall know that as far as it is Nigerian vibe is gonna is it Nigerian vibe let me see who's the author okay so she was raised in Lagos she was born in Bristol and now she's living in Dorset so she's Anglo Nigerian I feel like Nigerian books just hit differently most likely this looks like it's gonna be dramatic most likely the title Wahala if you if you don't know the video of Wahala Wahala means trouble problem <laughs> So I'm so excited about this one. This is the Atlas 6. There's a book too, the Atlas Paradox, but I did not get it yet because I wanted to see what this is going to be about. I think it's a dark academia kind of vibe, fantasy. I don't know, but it says here, yeah, six are chosen, only five will walk away. So one person is going to die. Okay. People say it gives off a reporter vibes and there are like some pictures here. Look at this. This is really beautiful. What? Oh, who is E? Uh, who? It looks dangerous. It's holding a knife. I have this one along with you in the ether, but I've not read it yet. And I think I want to read this first because it's a. I, I think this is a romance novel, and that one is not romance. So I'm going to ease myself into it. Firstly, try out our writing with a love book that I'm sure. I should love because I love love books. This one, the Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I have only read two or one of Christina Lauren's book, and I love them. So they are going to be like my auto buy authors because I'm definitely going to want to read more. I think this one talks about two people. They are enemies. They don't like each other, but their brothers and sisters are getting married. Then everybody got put food poisoned, so they could not go on the honeymoon. So they they kind of ask them to go and act like they're in a relationship or they are having their honeymoon i don't understand that concept but i think this should be lovely it's going to be giving enemies to lovers vibes but if you've read it let me know black cake by chamine will 
Wilkinson. Let's not talk about difficult that name sounded. Jesus. I don't know what this is about, but I think I'll I would rather love to go into it blind. But actually this was not the cover I know. The cover I know was is very very different from this, but yeah. I don't know. I did not read it. I was just looking at the letters. This is a very very new release. Leave my bones in Saskatoon. Saskatoon. <laughs> when I saw this title, I thought it was Sasuke Kun because you know you know Sasuke in Naruto. So I in my mind I keep saying Sasuke Kun, Sasuke Kun. <laughs> so what this is it? It came with the uh, his signature on a book plate like this. I I pre-ordered this one. Uh, this uh, the same author. I wanted to read this before I finally decided on buying this. But I was like, okay, let me just pay for it. You know, it's a book. I would. If I like one, I may like the other one, I may not like the other one. It doesn't matter. I just have to try to read them. And the Mountains Echo by Khaled, Khalid Hosseini. This one. You guys, people say this author writes really, really deep emotional books. So, I don't know. It might take me a while to get into this, but I really want to experience it, you know. So, that's how I got it. And from this, I think it talks about a brother and a sister. They are being separated or they are, the way they... I don't know. Christian or Lauren? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The True Love Experiment. I think this is the most recent release by them. Um, it's... I Oh! I just saw Fizzy. Fizzy is um, this girl's best friend in the Soulmate Equation. The one that is very carefree and I love her character. I thought... I, I was like, she's a writer. Yeah. But she's crazy and she's carefree and all that. And I was talking about it in the Summit Equation that I really, really love her character and I want to see her getting, you know, get her own love story. And this is about her, I guess. Oh my god, Fizzy! Jesus Christ, I want to read this. I love Fizzy so much. The book Thief. This guy is chunky. Oh. I have no idea what this is about. The blob is very short, so let's just read it. 1939, Nazi Germany. The country is holding its breath. Death has never been busier. Leislel, the nine-year-old girl, is living with a foster family on Emil Street. Her parents have been taken away to a concentration camp. Leslie steals books. This is our story and the story of the inhabitants of the street when the bomb begins to fall. Oh my god, that's crazy. Then I got this one. Oh my god. A lot of people say this is a very sad book too. A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I've not read any book by her, but this book looks really, really small and something that you can finish in in maximum two days, I guess. I got it basically because of the cover. Then I now started to see it around. I've paid for this book since, guys. Since. I would love to go into it blind. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I read just one book by her. That's One Last Stop. I liked it, but it was kind of... Uh, I liked the plot, but I could not put myself in any one of them's shoes. I, I love the fact that there was music, the 90s music, the 70s music that I really, really like. But I could not put myself in anyone's shoes. So, But everybody keeps raving about this one. I think it's now a movie. So I was like, okay, let me just get this one and try her out one more time. This one is a gay, um, queer romance book between these two guys. One is a prince and one, I don't know. I, I come to what I heard. So I just want to see. Everybody says it's really good, so I want to see. Be treated by Emily Harry. You guys know, if you just watched my July wrap-up, is it July? July, June, July. Yeah, my July wrap-up. I read um, Happy Place. I loved it. I gave it 4.5 stars. And then I read um, Book Lovers a very long time ago. I think I gave down 5 stars. People will meet on vacation, or you and me on vacation. I gave that one 3 or 3.5 stars because I do not really enjoy that one. But the other ones I did, so I'm here to give Beach Read the most popular book a try, okay? It's about two writers. They go on a vacation together and they try to write each other's genres. Uh, because they are both in kind of like a writer's block or something. So the guy writes what she normally writes and he, and then it's their love story. Okay! Oh my god, this one I'm really, really scared of. This this one. A Little Life by Anya Yanahihira. I, I had to browse out the pronunciation of her name. Anya Yanahihira. I honestly don't know anything about this book. All I know is everybody keeps saying that this book is a very emotional read. You will bawl your eyes out. It's very sad and stuff like that so 
nobody says anything about the plot nobody says anything about what happens in the book everyone just keeps crying or saying it's very emotional or saying it's very very sad i don't know so i want to know what what is sad about oh jesus christ looks like a bible the pins are so freaking tiny what the oh jesus christ crying in h mart i have no idea what this book is about but the tri title sounds like maybe someone trying to make ends meet and stuff like that i don't know dazzling dazzling by chikodi chikodili emelumado it's a uh, by a nigerian author i am very sure about that one because nigerians have is probably Igbo, probably Igbo or from the south this is a fantasy book and i've never read any fantasy by a nigerian author so i got intrigued like do you guys see this flop this is a flop <laughs> and let's get into the cover guys look at the cover somebody took a picture of this book in low light and it was so freaking beautiful i can't wait to actually recreate that picture for myself then the last book i got from book peddlers is the niger wife by vanessa walters it's short nigerian vibe so i think i should be able to relate to it. no it does not flop like no no flop no flop so guys the next vendor i got from was book corners on instagram also it was also a stockpile so yeah <laughs> i didn't get only books i'm so excited so i got this book panel light panel light panel to read your books when it's dark or like when they carry their light Wait, what's wrong with my camera so i got this book la panel stuff and it uses this kind of batteries it uses three aa batteries three and i'm like does it really i don't know i don't know does it really uh what's it because by the time the batteries died and i have to buy batteries and all that i don't know but another thing i realized the glasses came scratched I felt like it's supposed to be clean but it came with scratches and I'm like okay why is it like that although she gave me a discount on this so well what I'm very excited about oh my god so it came in this box it has a charger that's all that's inside here but this is what I'm excited about it's this book okay is this book is wooden it has details here it's really cute you guys it's really cute so it's a book lamp i just have to open it like this and you see the light see then it has different settings this is warm then this is like cool and then there's white Do you, i don't know if you can see it but yeah and she gave me this highlighter as a gift and i'm excited about this so the first head is chiseled and the other head is pointed uh i can't wait to actually use them use it then okay okay so now let's get to the books i'm excited i'm excited i got two penelope dog dance books i got punk 57 um a million words something something on instagram i love her page so much she likes this book and then i also got four boys i have no idea what they are but i know these books are quite smutty according to what people say so yes i want to read smart <laughs> then i got how to fail at flirting by dennis williams i think there were two books but i was not sure about getting the other one so i just said okay let me get this one first i don't even know if this is the book one or the book two because i don't know you know but i just wanted to try this author out so if per adventure i check later and i see that this is a book two then i'll buy the book one to read it first i should have checked it before i paid you know then i got this book the psychology of money for my friend allow me day i got this book for you okay the flat share by bethel larry you guys know i've read the no show by bethel larry and i liked it uh i have a love it relationship with that book but i have almost all bethel larry's books i have road trip i have now the flat share i have the switch <laughs> guys i don't know i only read one book and i have all the other books but i want to read this one before any other one people say this is really really nice like it's about two roommates they don't see each other so they leave notes on the fridge for one another and that's how their relationship developed i think that's actually a cool concept one from look up with love by mariana zapata 
from Look Up with Love. This book was raving everywhere on is on uh, book talk on East on YouTube too on YouTube too. It was everywhere, and I was like, okay, curious. I want to read from this author. I want to try out our books. Our books are quite chunky. I saw another one I wanted to get, but I was like, Mm-mm, let me read this one first. I think I'm now having sense. Let me read this one first. <laughs> let me see if I will like it. But I think I will like it because it's a, a lot of people's five stars. The Simple Wild by K. A. Tucker. I. I don't know anything about it, but I know it's a small town romance. I know it is probably a summer read. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I later find out found out that there are other two books that accompany this one. So I'm like curious. Like, did I make a mistake? Right? But let's let's just see. Oh, then I got this one, the good girl complex. Because I have bad girl reputation. So I wanted to read Bad Girl Reputation, but I saw that this was a book one. So I felt like, okay, let me just get a book one so that I can read them in order because I'm just like that. I have no idea about whatever they are. It's uh, by L. Kennedy and I've seen so many L. Kennedy books out there, like The Mistake and stuff like that. There's a series. Yeah. So let's start with this one. Every Summer After. Honestly, I really don't know anything about this book too. I just know it's a summer read. If I had unboxed this when I was doing my August TBR, when I was picking my August TBR, I would probably have picked this because there was one of the prompts that said pick a summer read and I didn't know which book to pick. So I ignored that prompt, but it's a summer read. A lot of people like this. There's a book too, the pink with the pink cover. People say they don't really like that one. So I was like, okay, let me not get it. Meet me at the lake, yes. My camera is overeating, so let's push. So this is me after some minutes. I had to let this cool down. The next book here is It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover. I bought this because I had this and I could not read this because I wanted to read this first. So I got it and uh, well, we just have to say that this is annoying. Okay, this is really annoying. But I got another version of It Ends With Us in another pile. It's gonna be coming So That one has sprayed edges and it's really cute. And I'm like, okay, okay. So I'm waiting. I love Colin Hoover, so I know I might like it. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. There are two reasons why I got this book. One, Anna Grace. My name is Grace, right? And two, everybody says it's smarty. They say it's more sp- it's more smart than plot. And I've read one book like that and I gave it five stars because I liked it. It was nice. Not all books have to be serious. Not all books have to be serious. But it's like uh, enemies to lovers. But people say the enemies, the eneminess is not really strong. So I just want to get it. It's an okay romance, a romance, a spot romance. It's going to be my, I think it's going to be my first spot romance. And I'm actually reading this immediately i finish with uh my current read right right now i'm reading shatter me i just started so after i finish shatter me i'm going to be body reading this with a friend of mine on instagram her name is Ore. so i want to read this i'm excited the king of sin by anna wang i'm reading twisted Lo- twisted series right now the twisted series i finished twisted love twisted games i'm about to start twisted eight but you know how it is. I'm a mood reader, so I just pick any book sometimes. Yeah. But I got this too. The King of Wrath and King of Pride. King of Greed is coming up soon, according to what people are saying. But I was really pissed off when I unboxed these books because they had some like damage to it. Like this one here. I don't know if you guys can see it. This part. The way it was packaged was not well. And I already complained to her that I didn't like that. And she apologized and besides it's not like i could return the books guys i can't all the way from from casino down here and the delivery fee was really really humongous i cannot go through that again now and the last books here oh my god i'm so excited about this guess 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 if you guess the dreamland bologna series you are correct but that's i got this one I got it for two reasons. I wanted to try out a Lauren Asher book and everybody was talking about this. Even Alexa Ray said she loved them so much and I'm like, okay, I want it. Then that's why. I don't know if that was two reasons, but but that's why. Oh God, I thought it was silent already. So guys, these books have like paintings, not paintings, like color. There are black spaces and so many colors. I feel like that makes it interesting. 
this is the fine print this is terms and condition the book two and the last one the final offer it talks about three brothers and they have to do something to inherit something according to what i heard but i may be wrong so i want to find out so that's it that's it you guys in total i got 16 and 16 books that is baby 16 plus 16 that's 32 so i got 32 books you guys i'm so excited so tell me which one you want me to start reading asap like asap like i should drop everything else i should drop shatter me and drop icebreaker to pick it up asap tell me in the comment section uh i think by the time you see this video i'll have even been done with all because <laughs> i still have about how many more book hauls going up first so i hope you guys enjoyed this i love unboxing books i love opening them i love seeing them i love feeling them yeah i'm excited okay i'll see you guys in my next video this is what i do with after recording after recording i have to pack all these like